<clears throat> Welcome to another video, Making the Game Song Bringer. I'm Wizard Fu. Welcome, once again. Um, if you have uh, been, if you're new to this series or you haven't been watching in a minute, what I'm working on is um, a major update. The game's already out. I'm just working on a free update with a lot of new content. It should be out relatively soon. And um, so I'm just finishing up my work there. And then I'll be working on uh, the iOS version. And uh, there's also the soundtrack to put out. But after that, will be the next game. So um, here we go. The final, final pushes of Songbringer to get this all finished. Make this a real quality release. Stick that under my belt and smoke it. Can you smoke things under your belt? Is that how it works? Okay, what I'm working on is one little bug where when you're fighting in the arena and Vel is supposed to stay at the beginning and stay at the entrance, she gets knocked around the arena by bombs and sometimes enemies, random uh, collision damages and stuff. I'm just verifying that I can set her mass to be 1.0. Let's see what her mass is supposed to be. Oh, she doesn't have a mass. Okay, so her mass is supposed to be zero then. I think this is the only reference to the arena. So if we have a stop arena, we also need a go arena. Area pattern arena, put the mass back to zero. Oh, this, this is also, uh, we need if mass then, if mass is greater than zero. Okay, so this, we need one little more command here. We need like a, go into the, view, the if behaviors. This is where we're testing the target. This is stuck, not stuck, der, vector, timer, lifetime, mode. Yeah, well, like one of these. But uh, it's kind of like this. This is a great one to copy here. Because we want the less than, greater than, equal to stuff. So, if we have, if mass is subtype 2 less than collision dot mass. Okay, we'll just open up Xcode, make sure this is working. If people were divided. You not what to do. All right. Yep. Some breakpoint there. Yeah. Once this is compiled, we'll run it. And um, I may need to actually. There's there may be a chance that she's actually getting around the arenas in other ways. So we might need to add a few more stops in here. But I think this stop and go thing. We'll check this first. Oops, I ran it from, from then. Got to run it from Xcode, catch this break. This should be a quick one. So what I'm going to work on the rest of this video is um, I'm working on the ring. Well, it used to be called the ring of difficulty. Now it's called Yale's snare. Yale is the experimental chemistry dude that accidentally turned himself into a wall with eyes. Uh, so he created a... The lore is that he created this ring which caused um, the, everyone else but the wearer to become stronger. So basically when you wear this ring, um, let's turn that audio down. So I can have some good audio. This video 
deal. Yeah, it causes, basically causes the wear to. So it gives you, it gives you more score. Like your score goes up because everything is more difficult. Um, but everything is more difficult. So, and you can only get it if you can already. It's not like something you just you find it in the cave where Bell is. It's just like a floating armor. You go there and uh, you can use the victor's emblem. Get the nail snare. Okay, so there's one good, um, good um, wave of enemies that usually cause Bell to get knocked around. It's this one. this trigger. Did I forget to run this? Son of a beeswax. Oh, she never gets there. Okay. So yeah, we gotta, we gotta bust through this whole arena for her to even trigger that. Stop arena, that's good. Okay, let's um do the thing with Ren, and as soon as he's gone, it should Zero, you can jump.
Really, this doesn't need to be any of that. Oh, it was two to six to try and make them sort of random. So maybe timer zero to like one and a half, something like that. Okay, this should work. Um, also, when we set up this pattern, set up wave, we got some special waves. That these don't actually exist. These, you're never gonna get to wave 90 and 91. These are just used to trigger some of Ren's meditation. At the very end, when he does his meditation, there's two special patterns it runs. Um, we want wave 91 to have the whole X just toggled so you can so Vel can walk up at the end. Now we just need Vel to be able to walk if area pattern arena and if, if I don't know if this I don't know if that'll work. You can't just do if complete. Do live. Hold on, let's check out the. Oh, whoa. Let's turn this off. Oh, we need that. Uh, it's alive. So this is counting actual profile names. I want to count like all foes. A live foe is greater than zero. That's kind of what it would be. I don't know if that's. Is, uh, let's just check out behavior live. It was also active and count. Oh, that's actually my work. This is uses the collision system Gideon's. Mask or or name. Oh yeah. Okay, this uses mask and name. Ah, oh, sweet. This might actually work. Let's set a breakpoint here too. So if count flow is greater than zero. You know what? Ah, this is we're probably gonna run into trouble with this because there's a moment, a tiny moment, when the arena has been completed between each wave. What we really want to do is go like if area complete. I think did I already do that? If area has or is locked. Pattern. Yeah, we just want to do complete. Make this more debuggable. Let's 
Some who did not fight brought tales of old to light. Marazinante sailed by night on her final flight. To the heart of Cygnus. Da, 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 da. Boom, cool. Yeah, check that. We should have completion. Who is calling this? Oh, I just said a breakpoint here. This is probably some other AI. Oh no, this is her. What? What dumb? Stop keel. What? Maybe it just didn't copy. Oh, stop keel, of course. That's gonna run. Right. This completion factor should be like zero. Cool. Oh, what? Oh, whoops. Okay. Let's do this again. This belongs. Uh, No, this is not, not a very complete. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Let's do if mass is less than zero or less than one. And then let's move this mass up here too. We'll make it kind of a little tiny bit quicker to parse. And I guess we can throw that in there too. Okay, let's make sure we got the right breakpoints. We're checking the if mass really is what we wanted. And the if complete. Oh, hold on. Let's make sure this is all copied over. Full well, value is one. Yeah, if the mass is less than one, her mass should start off at zero. Cool. Set a break. Or again. How's that break? Oh no. What? That's what she's fine. Oh, because she's just. She's crazy. She keeps on. Oh. 
Okay, so we do want to just keep her doing this. Durna, Durna, Durna. That's why all the other keels aren't, aren't really necessary because this just trumps all else of the AI. Oh. From here, you want to kill a few enemies and then just check the completion factor again, just to make sure. factor should be a little more than zero. Good. Boom. It's checked. Alright, so let's get through this whole round of fight. She's still stopping, that's good. that and check it in. We'll call that one more bug fix. Let's check in that dragon acid separately. Always reviewing, always helps to review code. You never know when looking at things one more time. Make you go, whoops, or hey, you should do that too. Ooh, not this. So we want data friends and source. Data commit, data friends and source. Now let's just check the dragon acid one more time. Just want to make sure they do indeed come up faster than they did before. Like there was a good five seconds sometimes. When they
Jesus. Okay, next up, we're gonna start working on another boss, making it more difficult if you have the Ale Snare, AKA the Ring of Difficulty. I've already done the Tromph boss, which is the first big goat-headed guy. The Blob boss, um, let's do Murmuroth now. Murmur off more difficult. One sec, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Alright, Murmuroth, this one, got all the bosses, um, this is about dungeon 6, we need to have, I'm, I'm setting this up so we have about the right amount of health and stuff, we should have about 4 or 5, life containers, we should have crafted something. We have a nice top hat, that'll work. Let's do something else, actually. Let's do the ghost sword. I guess we can keep the ice hat. Nah, I, I, don't, I don't think that's a good one to have right now. Got the ring of difficulty, we got the top hat. We should have cactuses this point. Bombs. This should be good enough. We'll fight without Bell. Okay, so we got the Ring of Difficulty. Automatically, every enemy has more hit points, damage, and difficulty as far as their intelligence goes. So it's, it's automatically more, a harder fight. But let's um, also give... So when Murmuroth goes and Spawn some Zerubs. Actually, no, when he's fought, when he's going down from the top of the screen. Yeah, so when he comes down from the top of the screen, we'll drop some rocks that lead to some bombs and stuff. Okay, so now the acid boss, just to shake down, spawn sand burst, position Z is less than 10. Okay, this is a little different. We want to go when he 
first goes into mode 10. There is spawn shadow, target the hero. This is a position to use greater than 240. Yeah, okay, so now we're gonna do this. Succeed if, um, oh shoot, what's the, forget how to do this. Oh yeah, if quantity, that's right. Succeed, if quantity, if you have the ring, then do all this. Spawn some rocks. And you probably should just you know, double that. Okay, so there. Now when he's coming down, he's going to drop a bunch of bombs. It's good that he targets the hero the whole time. Is there any other time that he targets, like... Yeah, good. He's mostly targeting the hero. Okay. Let's try this out. Oops. Only in place. sand fountain as well when he's coming up out of the ground whoa there does a lot of those oh wait that yeah that's cool we'll just double the number of sand fountains He's got the ring of difficulty. if rand is less than a half type thing. So maybe it does, sometimes there's a few more. And I guess the frequency should be a little bigger. So kind of like fall. Let's make that even bigger. Let's do maybe one more.
move horizontally. I guess we would have to set the rotation. Or I could do another animation, just bake it. Um, rotation? No. No. Okay, we do not have the ability to set the rotation, but it would be easy to add. But do we have enough room already in the sprite sheet? Probably do. In fact, I think. I think this is smart enough to, yeah, there's plenty of room. Oh, but it would be weird because the hurt animation. Wouldn't make sense. Wait, did I try and do this already? I guess I could just do a herd animation. We probably already got a skin going up and down. Yeah, he's got down. So I guess we just need side. We need hurt and idle for the side. Oh, and release as well. Shazzle. Oh, it's not that bad. I would mess with his shadow, but he probably doesn't have a shadow anyway. Yeah, he doesn't have a shadow, okay. Okay, okay, let's just stop worrying about the efficiency. And do this the way it's already being done. Sprite's shadow, where's the bosses? Bosses, no, there's no bosses. Shadow, acid boss, no? Abby Shadow. That was Acid Boss. Uh, maybe it's no shadow. Probably is no shadow. Okay, we need idle. This is up. Okay. Save as.
rotate. Uh, oops. Rotation. Clockwise, you want to face the east. Yeah. Render that to no shadow. Gotta change the folder. Passive outside. Yeah. frame so we need to use this old school command. Come on man. Oh, what's up? Backgrounds. Oh shadow. Oh is it boss? Sure, put it in the wrong place, didn't I? Belongs here in bosses. Cider zero. I must have tried the rotation already if I did this special animation this way. That's why I'm sticking to my guns. Okay, now we should have a clear list of new files, all in the bosses folder. Yay! Side, side hurt. Side release, the all the numbers. Looks clean and good to me. Now we need to add um, this new. Whoa, hey Matt, hey now. As a boss, oops. Side. Shoot, I called this. Side hurt, side release, whatever, doesn't matter. All right, now if When we go in, it's the same place where we went into mode 10. There, sequence down. If position Z is greater than 240, vector blah, blah, blah. Lies collision untargetable, jump open ground. Okay, let's have a chance to go to the side instead of down. Oh my god, this is going to change everything. Special ones here. Sequence side. So position Z is greater than 240. And if we have the ring, and it takes a random chance. So up in the air, what's the random chance that he does the side attack? Maybe like a third. Okay, he's gonna go into mode, different kind of mode. He's got so many modes already. 
and make sure we're not using up any other modes. 3, 2, 11. 11 is when you're going up and down. 3, 2, 1, 13, 20. He's already got 20. You might be able to use 30. He's already got 30. It'll be 40. So 30 is when he's sucking. Ah, oh, I love naming things funny stuff. Okay, we use 40. Side's gonna be 40, mode 40. Okay, and we'll have also mode 41. So 40 will be when he's heading, when he starts on the east and heads west. Mode 41 will be when he starts on the West and heads east. Select sequence if brand is less than 0 0.5. We're going to go into 40. We're going to set position. So it's up way up in the air. We want to be like position. Uh, so this 40 is on. When he's on the right, heading left. No, let's make let's make 40 when he's on the left, heading right, because that's just simpler. Because it's a face. Face east, skin side, face east, position. He's been left, so we're talking like position negative two four two or four twenty. Um, and he's how many tall? Or wide? Two forty wide. So it means he needs to be negative 120 or so, let's do 150. And then Rand height and this ground, All right? And we have a vector 0, no, vector 1, 0, 0. He's in mode 40. Otherwise, we'll do something else similar for mode 41. This is vector negative 1. He's off to the right of the screen. He's facing west. And do we need some kind of delay? Really? Okay, we need a side done. Oh, this is if um Oh yeah, this will automatically not trigger once this gets set because we got a new position. Um, all right, so we need to test if, so we're gonna do a select sequence. If mode 40, and he's heading right. If position X is greater than, okay, so 420, 210, 420 plus 150, 470. Mode 41, if x is less than negative 470. Okay, so that succeeds, then we want to set it up so as if he is.
going downward. Something like this. Oh, mode, whatever mode down is. So, oh, mode down is either 13 or 10. Mode 11, you want to be in mode 11. And Looks like we need flags. I'm tired right now. Okay, this is a lot to make sure it works right. Let's just give it a whirl to see if this works. And we'll go from there. I have no idea. Okay, wait, let's make let's do one more thing. Let's make sure that this, it just does this every time to start with. So whenever he goes up, he'll do that. There's no like waiting for it, him to do it. Could have gone wrong. Looks like he did it. Maybe his position's wrong. Looks like that. Check that out. Just make sure to verify one thing at a time. So we're setting position based on Serval. Just negative 150 ran ground. Step in. Step out.
So we already got pause, which started. What? Oh yeah, it's just pressing it straight into the pause, which was already 210, 90. 90 on the Y? M8, yeah, okay, okay. Value 241 Z. Yeah, okay. So this is X negative 150. Let's make sure the Y especially gets all. Here's a, should be Rand, yeah. Rand R is 0.5 plus that in some margin. What's our R now? 0.69. Pause dot y equals r times area size. Yeah, okay. One sixty six. This really could use a margin. It already has a margin. Okay. Well, yeah. I guess so. And the last one should be ground. Negative one? Oh, because it's off of the side. Probably would want that to be zero. Okay. I guess that's working. It still disappeared. Okay, let's try Let's try just doing This one's, oh, oh. This one needs to be 150 plus 420. And let's turn that rand off as well. So we're always just doing the east one. Okay, so I'm starting them off pretty like, like right there. So you should be able to see them. Vector. Why is this vector messed up? Does it not have an? Uh, what? You mean he can't move on that? I mean, he has speed. Okay, he's got X and Y speed. He's got very little X and Y speed, but still. It's there. Wait, does he have? Yeah, he's he's got vector movement. Flags eight. Huh. Okay, how about this? Set a breakpoint there. Wait for it to hit. And then we'll set a breakpoint when it's got its vector being set. We'll turn that off first so it's not like we're getting spammed with it. Now we'll wait for this first breakpoint, then hit that second breakpoint. And journey our way through this. Okay, vector. Okay. 
E to AI to VEC. What is your VEC already? Yes. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, this is the important part because we've got a vector that is just, it looks like it's proper to me. We've got vec1, zero, zero there. Let's make sure that no other modes or anything are messing that up. Is he stuck? He's stuck in the wall. It's a possibility, I guess. Move, mask, info. Oh, shit. He needed move, mask, none. He might actually be stuck in that wall. He's a giant creature, man. We need a totally different collision box for the side of this Okay, there he goes. Let's go set his speed correctly. It looks like he had the side done correctly though. That that this part worked. That's great. Um actually he needs flags untargetable. Regardless. And oh yeah, let's turn that on. Let's make him randomly do that. Do that. I think he didn't go far enough on the X there. Oh, that makes sense. This is supposed to be 420 plus. This is supposed to be 570. And this also needs to be 570. Okay, now set speed. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. If speed, set, no, I'd set target speed, yeah, here. Set actual speed. Triangle sign square. Oh no, this is the same, the speed factor. <sighs> okay, well, yeah. If it's a float value, single float value, then yes, set the speed factor. If it's a stir val, then E to move. That speed. Uh, set stir valve zero. I don't think you need to set anything special there. It's not like it's based on blocks or rands or ground. Okay, we need to verify it though. Okay, that's messed up some other ones here. This is no longer needed. No longer needed. This one is needed. Um, compile. Use it, set collision size. Uh, I guess that's just gonna be the word size. Okay, we'll, set, we'll save that for next. Um, so his speed is going to be, it was 30, 31, 10. Is that right? Yeah, speed. 110 on the X, 30, 110. And then um, 
Shit down. Now we don't even, we don't even need this. I mean, we can, we can verify that it works. I'm pretty sure we can just set the speed anyway. Okay, well, let's, as long as we're doing it this way, we'll do it this way. I don't think we need it, actually. We could just set this all to 110. Because he never moves on the X and Y normally. I guess it's probably safer, though, to leave it at 30 in case he ever... Move speed sets third vowel. Move speed is existing. Yeah. Stir vowel zero. Yeah. I guess we can just leave it like that. I'm fairly certain there is. Is there even a behavior size? No. We need a new word for this. Oops. Behavior size. Let's get that compiling. It'll take a sec. We need to hook up the word. Man, this AI system is gonna be pretty complete by the time I'm done with it, I'm telling you. So, it's kinda of right back where we were in the AI system. Position, set position. Need to verify, of course. Okay. So his size is normally 50, 24, 200. So when side is done, we'll set that back. That's easy. So he's 200 tall. We want him to be 200 long then. And he was 50. Really doesn't matter that much how tall he is, but I would guess he's kind of like about 80. He's 20. He's only 24 wide. Really? Okay. This needs to be something like 50, I'm guessing. Okay. Where did you try this? Oh, are, you sh uh, are you sure that all got compiled? Compiler?
sono già di Eli. Good size ish to start with. And here's where we're resetting, so it should go back to 50, 24, 200, nice. I think that needed to be about 220. Okay, let's let this run. Uh, no, let's, yeah, let's keep it the way it is. Let's make sure left and right work. percent chance if he has the ring of difficulty to go into this whole side mode. contrast.
Let's make sure that's going in the right place. Chance it. It's called level wall debris. What's rubble? Rubble, it's just called rubble. No shadow, rubble. Hopefully I didn't edit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, good, we can just apply this all in one go. Add some anti-contrast. Why didn't that work? Oh. Shoot, where did that go? Dang. It's, uh, oh yeah, they're both no shadow, okay.
Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should just make rocks not spawn any rubble. If it's sandy. that if it is an area that has rocks, and it's not one of those, then it does spawn some rubble. actually a little too little contrast in. Plus one, we have minus ten at least. Let's do all twelve. Flipping 
also want them to sink into the ground or sink into the water. Oh, this might fix that part too. There's one piece of rubble underneath the other, and they have the exact same Z. It's got to be what it is. Which, huh? Oh, maybe their Z gets set. This, oh. Yeah, their Z gets set at the beginning. So the rock, if that's, if that's true, then the rock just needs to spawn these with slightly different positions. And these will all have their own unique Z values. I just totally went on this. that they're not flipping over a million times a second like they were before. Um, the ones that were under the sink. The contrast looks okay. Their Z is better too. And yes, let's just check that in. Separately though. Okay, so we want to check in data weapons rock, or just data weapons, raw sheets, no shadow. Okay, well, now we're going to back to the acid boss. And I do believe this guy is rocking and rolling. Let's start with verifying that if we do not have the ring of difficulty, he does not do any of his new stuff. Like the sideways attack or the bombs. And he's, a pr and he's still the same old good old difficulty that he was before. These minimal items that I have here.
back to the same thing though. Um, let's make sure that his when he spawns um, his sand fountains. Yeah, this is right. Maybe these were just shoot. That was a lot of them. Okay. Whatever. I guess he did have that much. Okay, so now let's fight him with the ring, and he should be super difficult again.
couple things. This is acid boss side. Let's do um, a shadow. First, let's do like a sort of like 50 50 shadow. Set that kind of low. So it's pretty cheesy, but um, it's out on another shadow. Okay, I guess this one doesn't look that good. Or does it? It's fine. Is there something that might be killing his skin? Oh, cause he, oh, wait, no. That's the only, oh, that's the only reference to skin? What? Can't be, he's gotta have skin down. Oh, does, is that, no, what? See, how does he not get the other skin? Skin blank up. Skin down when he's, oh, okay. Yeah, this is the only reference to skin down. Okay, this needs skin then. Okay, maybe he might have just killed his skin. Oh, no, it didn't render it right. Oh, I <laughs> see. Oh, oh man, rotate that. Okay, let's try this again. Verify that we fixed a couple of those issues. He should look a little bit better when he's on his side, and he should die properly on his side.
Oh, it's negative 400. Aha. Oh, we need to be at least like negative 300. Oh, negative 240 will do. normal speed one last let's actually do one final review right okay so we change his move mass we get stuck on the walls we added a skin we added more sand fountains if you have the ring we added this side mode if you have the ring and drops rocks if you have the ring. We added the ability to set move speed and collision size. Okay, all we need to do is just play it one more time at normal speed and just confirm that all is well.
you should actually just have more health. It's like 20 to 50. Maybe that should be 20 to. No, that changes it for all. Okay, I'm just going to leave him how he is for now. I could play around with the balancing of it later. This is a good start. Very good. Actually, yeah, actually, this is pretty much done. The acid boss is Ring of Difficulty out. That makes into three bosses I've finished so far. Three out of the eight or nine bosses in the game. All right, cool. Oops, let's get those checked in. Alright, thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you next time. Wizard Foo is done for now. See you guys.